Kona Koto Maki here. This is the channel about retroactive jealousy that doesn't always talk about retroactive jealousy for reasons that we explain in other videos. Now I'm shooting this and releasing this on Christmas Eve, Kiwi time. So um, I wish you all a Merry Christmas in the morning. Uh, although I'm aware that people back in uh, uh, different, uh, is it a different latitude or longitude? I'm getting I'm confusing myself now. I'll bail out while I can. People further to the west than here um, will be a day behind, so um, you've got a little bit further to go. So this is a holy stone, um, which makes me think of, isn't that something in Father Ted? Isn't there a holy stone of Nocnamara or something? Um, but it's a stone that's full of holes. Uh, it's a Swiss, the Swiss cheese of stones and these are quite commonly found on the beaches where I live uh, in New Zealand, Aotearoa and I, I love them, I think they're beautiful. Um, you can get smaller ones as well that you know you can put a string through and use for jewellery. Now in, in, the, we in the western um, cultures uh, holy stones or stones with holes in, sometimes called hag stones, are used in you know charms and witchcraft and um, uh, traditional things. You put one at the head of your bed, supposed to prevent cramp. Um, these are probably slightly different to the the holy stones that you you find there. These are, and there's a new, really interesting story about how, not story, a fact, a really interesting fact about how these are formed, and I'm going to tell you. Um, it'd be a bit churlish if I if I didn't tell you, wouldn't it? So they are made from lava. Um, let me turn this around so you can get a good look at it from all different angles. It's come out of the sea, so it's got the crusty things that are on there, uh, kind of sea shellfish or something that lived on there. Um, beautiful, isn't it? And you can get big ones and small ones. Um, so. They are formed out of lava when, when, uh, and we're talking about kind of quite moderately slow moving lava, um, in a big high, um, uh, formations of it. Like, I think, think like massive treacle, um, sliding down a hill. Okay. So it's, you know, it's quite high and there's a kind of wall of it that, that, um, slowly engulfs everything in its path. Um, including plant life of various kinds. So, um, you know, bushes, plants, that kind of thing. We're not talking about big trees here. Uh, although I have seen this on a much larger scale. I've seen, you know, massive holes. Uh, and what happens is uh, it, it engulfs the vegetation and, of course, uh, causes the vegetation inside to burn, producing gases. Um, and the gases kind of build up and produce a bubble and the bubble uh, pops on the outside of the lava uh, and that's what creates these holes and these all these not necessarily holes but little indents um, and that's how it's formed so it's holes and and indents uh, so you can imagine like you know a pop um, I should imagine it would make a popping sound um, and then of course it cools and cools in this shape um, but isn't that beautiful um, really lovely so I'm sure that these are found uh, in various places in the world um, there may be something similar that's formed that's not volcanic I know that there are I think there are holy stones uh, that you can find in the UK that are formed through other means so I'm not saying that every holy stone is formed in this way um, but these ones are um, and they're totally beautiful um, so there you go so oh there's like a scary face there look um, now pareidolia is a word I find hard to say correctly um, but that's a good example of pareidolia isn't it? I don't know if you can see that can you see a scary face in that um, I can see one it's quite cool. It looks like it's got one big white tooth. <laughs> uh, two, an eye there, an eye there, a nose there. Um, and then if you hold it like that, a, ma a mouth. I'm ruining it while I move. A mouth and a big white tooth. 
<laughs> so let me know what you see in this stone. You can probably see other faces and other other images and pictures because that's what the brain does. We're trained to, we're programmed to recognize faces and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and if you are watching this on Christmas Eve or even if it's just before, I'd like to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Uh, if you celebrate Christmas, if not, you know, Hanukkah, uh, Yule, Saturnalia, um, what else? Um, solstice season, um, or if you celebrate none of those things, that's fine as well. Have a good, have a good, whatever it is you don't celebrate, if that makes sense. Um, I will be back with another video soon. I'll be back with more retroactive jealousy stuff, as always. Um, but it comes when I've got something useful to say. Not just when I feel like, I, you know, it would be good to put a video out because it's good for the channel. Put a video out when uh, I've got something useful that I think might be helpful to people. Thank you for all your support this year. I suppose I shouldn't do the New Year things yet. Should I should do that New Year, really? But I'll say thank you for all your support this year anyway. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed the Holy Stone. Thank you for watching. Uh, Rangi Marie.